everyone and welcome to my studio well guys today we're going to make a very 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 cool doll because we're going to make the golden siren from the jibber animation from netflix love death and robots and i actually want to thank my friend nicholas from the uk who brought this concept to my attention because i have watched just the first two seasons of the show and i haven't watched the third one and this jibber episode comes from the third season but actually i think that love death and robots is actually one of the best shows on Netflix. It features all kinds of contemporary animation in different genres, different styles, so it's a very very interesting project. So I've listened to Nicholas, I went and watched this episode and I got so excited about the idea of making this golden siren doll that I immediately after watching this episode I went online and started looking all kinds of golden sequins, beads, other golden things to buy uh, to make this doll. But actually, if you haven't watched this episode, if you don't have Netflix, if you don't care, you don't have to watch it to enjoy my doll's makeover today. I will give you a quick recap of the show, but it doesn't really matter. So, the story is very traditional. This is a story about a beautiful siren who lives in some beautiful lake in the wilderness and this siren attracts and at the same time kills warriors with her deadly song and dance. And in this movie the siren meets a deaf warrior who basically immune to her magic and there starts some story between them. So that's the story in a nutshell, it's very traditional like I told you, but what is very important for us is that this siren is extremely Pretty. My first question was, but how to even make something like this? What is this? How to break it into pieces? This is like really a pile of moving gold or something, just a golden girl. What is this? But I have found on YouTube, on Netflix YouTube channel, a short video, like five or six minutes documentary showing behind the scenes of making this gibbero or hibaro, like the director calls it, because he's Spanish, so it's gibber or hibaro. Uh, movie and in this documentary in this video they show their 3d models sculpted 3d models in static without movement and it was extremely helpful for me because then I could really see all the parts all the details how this siren really looks how it functions what it is all how to break it down into pieces so i will link this youtube video also somewhere or here or there somewhere if you're curious because it's really very interesting because it's really very modern very contemporary animation it was very interesting to see how it was all made and yeah for me it was also very useful because i really could see the siren in static without all these golden textures so it was very useful well this is it guys let's start working let's start this project i'm extremely excited today and by the way today we start our spooky season on my channel i haven't mentioned it yet uh, i normally upload all these halloween special spooky videos just in october but then it's not enough and i keep uploading them still in november and sometimes even in december so this year i've decided to start a little bit earlier we start our spooky season today with this beautiful gibbero hibbero uh siren doll uh the next week will also be something special so i really hope i will be able to upload five dolls during the next six weeks so wish me luck uh subscribe to the channel of course guys don't forget hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll uploads and yeah of course hit the like button to help my videos here on youtube so and this being said let's start working it's very 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 exciting today i've decided to use this doll i think she kind of looks a little bit like the siren with her bigger lips and with also a little bit bigger nose so let's quickly undress her get rid of her hair and wipe off her face with pure acetone let's prepare her really quickly this time there is a lot of work today
When everything is gone, I spray the face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and I start working on her face. The siren's face is actually a golden mask. You can see the golden shine, the shiny red lips decorated with some sort of rhinestones, metallic blue eyebrows. It will be a really interesting challenge today working on her face. And I was thinking about making two faces at first. The crying one, like the real face, and then the golden mask on top of it. But then I thought that having two faces wouldn't make much sense without making two kinds of outfits. The one with gold and crystals and another one with all these gold and crystals teared off. And this will be really difficult. All this gold and all these rhinestones will be really difficult to remove from the outfit once I place them there. So we will go for the gorgeous version of the siren today with the golden face mask and with her golden outfit. She has dark eyes with a bunch of red and this red is even on the white of her eyes. So let's make it to make her look more evil. You can see that this mask has some sort of lines around her eyes and also on her forehead and there is also some ancient text or something like this engraved there and she also has a vertical red line in the middle of her face. Okay, let's put her face aside for now and let's give a quick blush to her body and after this I will cover the body and the face with a layer of golden acrylics.
want to make her eyebrows, her lips and also this red line on her face metallic and for this I will cover them with metallic foil. also want to add more gold to these lines on her face because she's supposed to look really golden and shiny. And as a finishing touch I also cover her feet and hands with this gold. So guys, we are done with her face and body for now and it's time for the very exciting part of this project for outfit making and I will need really a lot of gold to make it. So I've bought all these beautiful shining things, the fabric with golden sequins, golden and blue sequins without fabric, rhinestones, really all kinds of things. It all looks really so, so, so pretty, it's so shiny, really amazing. I'm I'm absolutely obsessed with this pile of gold on my table. So, and now I will have to turn all this pile of gold into a golden outfit. And here I really ask myself again, where should I even start with something like this? She's just like a walking gold statue. Plus she's constantly moving and it's really difficult to see all the details. So that YouTube video showing behind the scenes of making of the movie came very handy because her face, outfit and also her headpiece are much better visible on these 3D renders. So after checking it out for a while, I have decided to start with sewing a one-piece suit out of this sequined fabric. I'm basically making a top and a pair of leggings and then I will connect them together. Okay, this piece looks really good. I feel already more confident after making this first step into her outfit. So now let's make the corset and a bunch of bracelets for her arms and also for her legs out of Warbler thermoplastic.
so this is what I've made. I think it looks pretty close to their 3D model. So now let's paint it all with acrylics and then I will decorate the corset with golden and blue sequins. I used this method already one time to create scales on the tail of my Antarctic mermaid doll and it looked extremely pretty, so now I think it will look very cool as well. And check it out guys, it looks so pretty a couple of hours later, my confidence keeps growing, so now let's add a bunch of chains and rhinestones to it as well. You can see that the original siren has a couple of big stones on her outfit and then there is a bunch of red and green kind of drop shaped stones. So this is what I'm going to make now. can decorate the bracelets with golden chains and also with rhinestones.
And look how pretty, guys, really. A set of tiny jewelry, really super cool. These are really the prettiest bracelets I've ever made on my channel. But I've just realized that I forgot about this piece of jewelry on her neck. So let's make it very quickly, also out of warble thermoplastic. And then I will decorate it with all kinds of stuff as well. guys this is the neck decoration and it looks just phenomenal all together and it really keeps getting just better and better well now it's time to make these chains or like strings with beads i don't know how to call them right that are hanging from her outfit and that the ones that she uses in her deadly dance like the swinging things I will start with taking this tiny golden sequin and I will attach six double golden strings to it. made three of these sequins with golden threads, two of them I'm attaching to the top of her corset and the one to the area around her belly button. And when the glue gets dry I decorate these golden threads with these tiny golden beads, adding some colorful beads here and there in between. guys this is where I've ended up I think it looks super cool now I still want to attach some decorations on top of these spots where all the strings got connected together and after this I will put on the bracelets and then I think we're done with the outfit it's really difficult to believe but yes we are kind of done guys this is the finished outfit this is how it all looks together it was really a huge project but the end result looks really phenomenal to me I think this is going to be one of my coolest dolls so far but anyway I still need to make a headpiece and it's also not an easy one but before I start working on this headpiece I want to make this doll's hair I want to make sure that this hat decoration fits properly. And I'm going to use these beautiful, super soft and natural fibers on this doll. I think she deserves my best hair from my collection. So now I will glue it to the doll's head using tacky glue. I won't stop on this hair making part of the project too detailed, you can find it in my other videos. This is really a huge project today and I have to skip some parts of it to keep this video under 40 minutes. 
but this is where I've ended up after the glue got dry. Now I can take an eyebrow razor and start styling it all. The siren has a short bob haircut with short bangs, so let's go for it. Okay, this is how it looks at the moment. Now I'm going to cover her hair with a piece of kitchen plastic and I will let it sit like this for a while and it will make her hair really flat and pretty styled. And meanwhile I can make a hat for her. You can see that the original hat looks actually like a scarf wrapped around her head. It makes me think about maybe Moroccan hat scarves or even some Afghani or Pakistani hat pieces. So I'm going to make it out of Warbler thermoplastic. I cut a long piece of it and I will start with folding it in two, keeping a couple of millimeter of this edge free. So this is it, something like this I will need. And you can see that I kept one end of it unfolded. And I will start with putting this wider end to the back of her head. And then I will go around her head with the rest of this folded strap, kind of forming this hat piece. And this is what I've got, guys. It looks so cool, really. This project makes me really happy and excited somehow. So now let's decorate it all and I will actually start with attaching some chains to it. The original hat is decorated with these balls and I've decided to take these half spherical beads instead and I think they will create a very good illusion of it. So I'm attaching them to the hat piece covering the places where the chains are attached. So this is what I've made so far and I think that it looks really, really good. So now let's paint it all and decorate with beads again and chains and all kinds of things.
this is the finished hat piece guys I'm really in love with it it looks so gorgeous unbelievable I'm in love really and I think it will look very good with the rest of the outfit but meanwhile I have removed the plastic from the doll's hair and this is how the finished hairstyle looks I still made it a little bit shorter here on the sides really super cool absolutely adorable so now I can put this hat to the hat and we are almost done guys so now it's time for highlights lashes and gloss and after this we will still make a nose ring because the siren has a ring in her nose so we will need one as well of course so let's make it Guys, here is the finished doll and I really think that this is one of my coolest dolls ever. I really enjoyed working on her from the beginning till the very end. Like every part of this project was very interesting, very unusual. Many parts of this project required some kind of new creative solutions and this is exactly what I like in my work. This is exactly what I like in doll making. Her face was quite unusual, I don't know, somehow I think she looks a bit friendlier on pictures than she does in real life. In real life she looks a little bit more mean. But her face looks good with all these metallic eyebrows and other metallic elements, so I'm really happy about it. And then her outfit and the headpiece are simply my favorite things I've ever made in this life. It also took a little bit longer than usual for me to finish this doll, but it was all worth it when I looked at the finished doll in the end. And you know, I feel in general very inspired lately and I have more fun than usual working on my dolls. So it will be a fun Halloween this year. I already can't wait to show you everything I'm working on for the month of October. It's gonna be really, really, really cool, guys, this year. So and now please tell me what you guys think about this doll. I hope you liked it as much as I do. And also please tell me what would you like to see this Halloween season. I don't know, maybe there are some special characters you would like to see me making in a doll form. I don't know, if you have any interesting Halloween doll ideas, let them down in the comments. And this doll is now available on eBay for three days like always, so please check it out if you are interested. The link is in the description box under this video, so maybe this one is for you. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please guys, don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon, normally next week, Friday, in my new Halloween special. Love you guys. Bye.